Ladies and gentlemen, I give you exhibit A. Beef shank center cut. Two dollars and forty-two cents. Uh, weighs 0.275 a kilogram, so that's about half a pound, I think. I don't know what that noise is. It sounded almost like a meow. So, you think he likes them? Do you like these? I do hear a squeaking. It might be two trees squeaking together. Now, don't eat the Kotex there with the panty liner. No, no. Ben! Let me take that away from you. But sure as shit, you'll fucking eat it. Watch your language. Sirs, mark. You'll eat it. We can edit that out later. Now what the hell is squeaking around here? Is it one of my kittens half alive? Half dead? Hi guy! Hey, welcome back. It's Friday again. It seems like only about seven days ago I was doing another beer video. Well, it's the 12th of September, Friday. Happy birthday, Kevin Clark. <laughs> Great weekend last weekend, uh, celebrating my, uh, uh, my uh, birthday. And so I hope you can uh, have a few tonight for yourself. Uh, I forget when uh, my buddy old Jamie up the road's birthday is. I think it's the 19th maybe or the 17th so we might do some celebrating tonight over that so the beer I got for today is called Red's Apple Ale extreme close-up and it's not apple cider it's a uh, ale with uh, natural flavor and caramel color I don't know why they need color but crisp apple ale an exceptionally crisp apple ale. This is made by Red's Brewery in Fort Worth, Texas. Home of the home of great big US Army base. Okay. Today's beer is brought to you by the letter M. Which stands for more beer. Then it's a twist off. Oh well. Mmm, smells pretty good. You get any of this or what? Smells pretty good. It's like an apple cider with just a twang of twang of yeast or something like that in there. Or the uh, malt. Did that bubbles? Survey says yes. Well, plus my little uh, beer fridge is uh, turned up to maximum. It's turned all the way up to all the way cold. You turn it up to go cold? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Oh, forgot to smell it. Yeah. I'm also a little bit of hinge, of, a tinge of spice. Very refreshing. Tastes just like apple juice, really. Not much of an alcoholic taste. It's five percent though, so not bad. Really good, ice cold on a hot sunny day, sitting at the beach watching the bikini bottoms walk by, and being your typical creepy old man. I think this weekend's the last weekend for the beer fridge out here. I think it's getting pretty chilly now to be outside drinking beer, so I might, might. Uh, well, first of all, I'll unplug it and open the door and let the freezer defrost. It's getting mighty hard to throw in a bottle of Jägermeister in there, so I'll just let that defrost, and I can just let it do it on the deck, and it'll all go through the cracks. And that'll be it, and uh, then drag it in. Yeah. I got one little box to open up, 
So I, I thought I'd open up with you guys. Somebody out there says they like it. It's from Miller Concepts in Shubenacne. He makes stickers and uh, license plates and license plates holders. I got my RCD one in the front of my truck made there. So let's see what I ordered. Bubble wrap. Well, that's it. No. An envelope. More bubble wrap. A receipt. More bubble wrap. Uh, a package of something. More bubble wrap. So let's go in here first. Oh, quasi seal. Oh. So, first, one, two, three, four, six, I think. Eighth Canadian is our stickers. I think they're two inch stickers. Uh, I don't know if I got a big. Oh, yeah, I got two. Look like four inch stickers for 8th Canadian Zars or 8CH. Oh, and then I got a monster one here. <laughs> These are all going out to Dean Fraser out in BC. And that's my gift to him for driving me around the parking lot with his uh, World War II BMW motorcycle. I got one with a badge on it. Remind people that I was once a warrant officer in the Canadian Armed Forces. <laughs> I also got some uh, little Royal Canadian Dragoon stickers. And then I got, you can see a bigger one, and then a bigger one still. The one on the back of my truck is starting to peel off. It's one about this size. So I thought I'd get another one just in case it falls off. And... Here's a sticker for Prince Edward Island, the province of Prince Edward Island in Canada. Now, let's see what we got here. These are the license plates or holders, I would imagine. A little bit of both. I got two Royal Canadian Armored Corps license plate holders, or whatever you call them. I actually got some some stickers in this one. I'll just open up. I got another uh, Royal Canadian Groom one and an H Canadian R one. So that'll go with your uh, out to your place, Dean. The other uh, ACH one. I got a Royal Canadian Armored Corps license plate. Times two. Uh, one is going to Keith Boudreaux's place in Nova Scotia, where we have our Black Hatters, Eastern Black Hatters party. If I go to British Columbia next year, I'll bring one out there for that party. And of course, a Royal Canadian Dragoon plate. Uh, which I'll give to Keith as well. Reflective. Hmm, I don't know if mine's reflective or not. Not very much reflective. So that's a good little... A good little... Uh, happy place. All that came with a grand total of... I threw in a few extras. Dave. Aha! Uh -huh. Yeah, you did. These ones here are extras. Excellent, Dave. Dave Miller. Looks like one RCD one and 
too. Now I ordered the 10 pack of two. And eight inch and a ten inch reflective vinyl. So he gave me an extra RCD one and two HCH ones. Again, that's going out to Dean Fraser, British Columbia, who I worked with when I was in the Raw or the Eighth Canadian Czars in Germany. Four years I was an HCH. Oh, he gave me another uh, Royal Canadian Armor Corps. Uh, one of these. So everything in there was free. Excellent. Dave, thank you very much. That's Dave Miller. This is from Miller Concepts. License plate decals and frames. So if you want to look them up, uh, www.licenseplatedecklesandframes.com www.licenseplatedecklesandframes.com uh, To give you a for instance, this is $15. Uh, the small 10 pack of stickers, 2 inch stickers is $10. Uh, the 10 inch sticker, the big sticker, sticker is ten twelve dollars and so on and so on so if you're looking for some stuff to dress up your car or your truck uh, pop by their website they've got tons of Canadian Army plates uh, biker plates US Army plates etc etc and he's very good to deal with as you can see I dealt with him enough that he gave me a few uh, those weren't free though Yeah. Uh, this costs thirty dollars, so the license plates themselves are pretty expensive. The Armor Corps ones are eighteen eighty four, so they're less expensive. Uh, I guess they're not reflective. Oh, you can also look up www.millerconcepts.com. I don't know if that's in frame or not. Should be millerconcepts.com. Tell them Chris Collier sent them, and Chris said it's the best place to buy license plates in the free world, possibly the universe. Uh, Vladimir, my friend uh, over in Korolev, Russia, I put the package in the mail for you today. It's going to be taking about a month, I guess, because it's going by surface. I didn't particularly want to pay the extra, twice as much to go by air. Being a cheap Charlie that I am. It was unbelievably expensive anyway, but I'm glad to do that, buddy. Uh, I like having friends all over the world. And another Russian friend is a good Russian friend. Uh, well, I guess that's about it. It's 2.18 now. I'm going to my brother Andy's tomorrow for a ham supper. Don't know what the occasion is. Maybe it's just Saturday the 13th. Ham dinner day. I picked up some treats for uh, Izzy and uh, the other fella, Alfie. So, what's an uncle for her to do except spoil his niece and nephew? Not that they're not spoiled already. I go there, stir up a uh, controversy, and then leave. Probably spend the night with. Uh, my parents may spend tomorrow or Sunday there too with my dad as we watch the end of the Tour Championship golf. As he's he he enjoys watching golf and so do I. And it's the last tournament of the year to find out who wins the ten million dollars FedEx Championship. Who says golf doesn't pay, eh? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I didn't take a hearty gulp of this. You noticed. <laughs>
I thought it would be better if I sipped through it. So, that's about it. I went today shipping that postal to, parcel to Russer. I got online before I went down there and filled out all the addresses and the contents list. And it'll give you one of those uh, square barcode. Well, not a barcode. Uh, it's square with all the little squares in it. Uh, what the hell is it called? I think you know what I mean anyway. It's, it's, you can read it with a barcode reader. And you can either send that to your, if you have a smartphone or a phone or a mobile device, or you can print it out. So when I got to the post office, I just, here's the box with the address, and I gave him the barcode print, printed barcode, not barcode, what the heck is that called? Jeez, half a thing of apple cider I'm getting forgetful already. Now, anyway, I gave him that, and they scanned it in. All he had to do was measure the box, uh, they scanned it in, they printed three labels, and that went in uh, like a envelope sleeve, and la di da, that was it, I just had to pay for it. So it takes a less, lot less longer than tying up their time and my time. Well, actually my time was spent here, but their time is more valuable than my time. Especially when somebody's waiting behind you to, for one stamp, maybe. Ah, fall is in the air, which is my favorite uh, time of the year. I spent the night, the other night, out in my shelter, and I didn't even use a uh, bug net, because there was no mosquitoes. I had a less than comfortable night. I had lots of, uh, I had a fleece, fleece sleeping bag liner and uh, my thin slight sleeping bag, so it was plenty warm. Uh, just the sleeping pads, uh, pads, pads, pads I had were, uh, Absolute shite. They weren't thick enough. I suppose the only thing they really did was uh, insulate me from the cold ground. Which the cold ground isn't very cold now. I think I'll inflate one of my, uh, you know those air matches that are that's big? Inflate that, drag it out there and just leave it in there. Hopefully the mice won't uh, move in and set up camp in it. So anyway, uh, glad to have you back for another Friday beer video. Uh, it was Red's Apple Ale. Uh, I forget who actually gave this to me, to tell you the truth, but I think it was my cousin, or my aunt, or my uncle, or my brother, or my friend. There, I got about everybody there. 5% from Fort Worth, Texas. Everything's bigger and better in Texas. And it evaporates pretty good. So thanks for dropping by again. Have yourself a great weekend. Happy birthday again to Kevin. And uh, that's it for now. Chris... Out.